at this stage of the DRO installation, I've got this piece of one by one aluminum angle, and I've got uh, here's the um, the table to the mill. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mount this angle to the, this is the back side of the of the mill table. So what's going to happen is the DRO is going to sit in this channel, underneath this channel, so from the top of the mill table, I won't accidentally bump or hit anything against the uh, against the measuring device on the DRO. Let me back up a little bit so you can see that. Here's the angle iron. Here's the surface of the mill table. I've got it taken apart and set on its side just to uh, access it. But I need to bolt this piece down. And I also need this. This is the saddle, I believe is what this is called. I need to drill into this a couple of holes to accept the um, the mounting bracket from the DRO measuring device. It'll be attached to this. So as this table slides back and forth, the DRO measuring device will remain stationary here, and uh, that way that's how I'll track the uh, the movement of the uh, of the table. So let me get, have you take a look at this from another angle. I've got the D, uh, I've got the mill table taken apart, attached to the saddle, and um, mounted onto this vise just so I can access this thing easily and uh, drill into it. In fact, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the drill on the on the mill to uh, create the uh, the mounting holes for the the bracket that holds the DRO measuring device, and I'll also use it to uh, drill these holes because I want to tap these as well. So this is something that will be able to bolt on and off as I in case I ever need to remove it to replace it or whatever. So there's the mill. It's one of those uh, uh, mills from uh, Harbor Freight. The Grizzly style, if that's what they're called. I don't know. 2X. It's a 2X mill. So it's got the chuck on it right now. But what I really want you to see is uh, what's going on here with the uh, bracket. There's the back. This is the underside. This is where the the threaded rod goes in to for the for the uh, Y axis. Again, this is the back side. So this is going to all flip that direction. So this is the back. This side is the front. There's the surface. So that's where I am right now. And uh, we'll come back after this is all mounted. Hey, let me show you show you what the DRO is going to look like. Hang on a second. 